Welcome to our question clip on chapter 3. In chapter 3, we're going to be dealing with freshers, that's the entity. So if you want to follow, and I recommend that you do that, you can follow the question in your question book. I will go over to the suggested solution, and this might not appear at all times. In any question, we have a look at the required part. So if we can look at the required part A for this question, they tell you to show the effect of every transaction on the accounting equation by using the table below. And this is different from your other questions because they tell you you begin with the totals or balances on the 1st of October 20.4. If we have a look at the given information, these totals and balances that they mention are given at the top here. In our framework for answering the question, you'll see they started off with all those accounts. So you can just complete this using the amounts that was given in the question. So if we can start with this little list, equipment had a total of 65,000 rand. For inventory, we have 18,000 rand. And we're going to continue to complete all these totals. Just have a look at the bank account. In the brackets here, they tell you that bank had a favorable bank balance. Favorable bank balances will be classified as an asset, whereas an unfavorable bank balance will be classified as a liability. So our favorable bank of 8,100 Rand can be included under assets. No totals or balances were provided for the capital, the income and the expense. So let's just quickly complete the loan of 30,000 Rand as well as the creditors of 11,600 Rand. Because we know, according to the basic accounting equation, that assets must always be equal to equity plus liabilities, we can calculate this missing amount for capital. Income and expenses, they are dealt with in previous financial years, so they won't start with a total or a balance. We can just calculate the capital account and that balancing amount is the 57,000 Rand, which you calculated with a mathematical equation. All the assets minus the liabilities will give me my equity. If you can de then deal with the transactions, Freshers had the following transactions during October 20.4. In number one, they tell you that you issued an invoice for 8,400 Rand, the cost of these items 5,600 Rand, to customers for goods sold on credit. Goods sold on credit will not influence our bank. Money has not yet been received, so we will have to increase the amounts due to us with the 8,400 Rand. If we then increase our debtors with 8,400 Rand, this is income that we've earned, although we have not received the money yet. So our income will increase our profits under equity. So we will be increasing our income, 8,400 Rand. If we just stick to this accounting entry, it shows an increase under equity of 8,400 Rand which is not completely true if we want to calculate the profit under equity. That's why they provided us with a cost of 5,600 Rand, for which we now also need to account so that we can have the net effect, which is the profit in our basic accounting equation. Under inventory, as soon as we sell the inventory, the inventory in the storeroom will decrease. So we will have to decrease the inventory with the cost price of 5,600 Rand. For this decrease in inventory, I also need to go and match this cost price with the income that it generated so that I can have the resulting profit under my equity. So for this 5,600 Rand, I will have to include it as an expense under equity. Remember, the basic accounting equation, I need to show them what happened to equity. Equity for expenses will be influenced negatively. Positive 8,400 minus the 5,600 will result in the profit under my equity element.
For the second transaction, we received 1,500 Rand from a debtor as payment of his account. This is different from the sales transaction at the top here. We do not sell the items again, we just receive payment for previous sales. So this money that we received can't be accounted for as an increase in my profits again, then I'm going to be duplicating the transaction. So I will have a mere decrease in amounts due to me of 1,500 Rand. And he will settle this account with money, increasing my bank with 1,000 500 Rand. So after each transaction, you can still check whether your basic accounting equation is in balance. Minus 1,500 plus 1,500, that results in a zero effect, and that's equal to zero on this side as well. I'm now going to go over to the suggested solution and deal with the transactions accordingly. For the third transaction, we purchased inventory on credit 2,000 Rand. On credit implies that we still owe this money to someone, so we will have to increase our liabilities under creditors, which we already have, our trading creditors, and this will result in an increase in whichever asset I purchased, which is inventory of 2,000 Rand. Transaction number four, we paid repairs to equipment by check 350 Rand. A check is as good as cash, so that part will influence my bank account, but now they just mention repairs to equipment. You didn't buy new equipment, you just performed some repairs on your equipment. Repairs will not be classified as an asset with the equipment, the repairs will be classified as an expense. So I'm going to have to influence my bank negatively for the payment part and then I'm going to go over to my expenses and remember expenses will result in a decrease in profits that's why I have this negative in front of the 350 your expenses increases but there's an increase in expenses resulting in a decrease in profits that's why the negative will be indicated there. Transaction on the fifth. We sold goods for cash this time. Selling price 7,200 and cost price 4,800. If we sell goods, we don't only account for the income part, but we also take the inventory out of the storeroom because that will leave our premises and matching will result in my little profit that I made. So let's first account for the 7,200 Rand. 7,200 Rand will be an increase in my bank because it was a cash sale and my income that I've earned. And then I also take into consideration the cost price, which will be a decrease in inventory and my decrease under expenses. Transaction number six. Paid rent of 3,000 Rand by check Paying the rent will definitely make my profits decrease. So I'm going to go to my equity, decrease my profits as expenses, and that will also be a decrease in bank because I've paid the rent from my bank account. Transaction number seven. We received an invoice for stationery purchased on credit 120000 this invoice indicates that this transaction was on credit. I cannot take it out of my bank yet. I just received the goods. I still have to pay them. So this 120 Rand will be an increase in the amounts due to other parties, increase under my liabilities. And then because I'm going to consume the stationery, that will be economic benefits consumed, which is classified as expenses, and expenses will decrease my equity. That's why the negative in front of the 120. In transaction number eight, they mentioned that we paid interest on the loan for October only for one month, 
at the market related rate of 10% per annum. So our percentage is a per annum, an annual for the year, but we're only paying it for one month. That will result in a calculation of the interest. So let's quickly do the calculation and then we can have a look at the accounting entry. In this calculation at the bottom, you will see that we owed them 30,000 Rand. That's the opening balance that we started off with under liabilities. That 30,000 Rand times the annual rate multiplied with only one month, that will result in a 250 Rand interest expense. Interest will not decrease my liability. I still owe them the 30,000, but for the use of the 30,000 Rand, I will have to decrease my profits. The more interest you incur, the smaller your profits will be. So I'm going to decrease bank because I paid the interest and I'm going to decrease my equity because of the interest expense. Transaction number nine. We issued a check to a creditor to settle the account of 2,800 Rand. Issuing a check will come out of your bank account. So under my assets, I'm going to decrease my bank account. I have a decrease in my bank account. And they tell me this is in settlement of a creditor, so I will owe the creditor less 2,800 Rand. Last transaction. Received 140 Rand for rent of a storeroom. If we receive money, our bank will be influenced positively, so we're going to increase our bank 140 Rand, and we're also going to increase our profits. The more rent you receive, the higher your profit, so that will be an increase under my equity item. In the question, they do not mention that you have to test for the duty concept. In the solution, they show you the test of the duty concept. If we take all these assets and we add them up, that will give us a total of 99,540. So I know that my assets in total need to be equal to my equity and liabilities. So if I do the same for equity, remember expenses had a negative, decreasing your profits. So it's my capital plus my income minus my expenses. And then the liabilities, both of them positive at the bottom. I will result in my duty concept and my basic accounting equation being in balance assets equal to equity and liabilities. Please only do this in a test environment if it is part of the required, otherwise you're going to run out of time. In the question we also have a B and a C part where we have to draft statements. These statements will be dealt with in another question clip.